<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy True Inferno, and yes, it is another live stream. So I apologize for it being late at night, but when I only get like a certain amount of sleep before community day starts, I needed to get my rest in. I needed to get my rest in. So let's see who we got in here. I see, let me get my other chat so I guys can see better. There it is. I see 816SNS. Thank you for showing up to the live stream. Rock Lobster, I saw you earlier for community day. Thank you for showing up to the live stream. Reds, I saw you earlier today as well. Feel me once, what is up, man? Thank you for showing up to the live stream. Dark Tyler, what is up? Thank you for showing up to the live stream. Straw Hat Chris. <laughs> Where's my gift? <laughs> look, look, look. Here's a, here's a little known secret. I'm her favorite. <laughs> hey, the shiny collector JVB. What is up, man? Thank you for showing up to the live stream. Yes, today indeed was Beldum Day. And yeah, there you go with that. So we got a lot to talk about here. And I'm I'm trying to debate if <laughs> what is sleep? I'm trying to debate if there's another topic that I just went into. Shout out to uh, Count Jinxler. Um, he released a video, I think four days ago, or was it four hours ago? I don't remember. But it was recent, and it was very interesting. I kind of want to talk about it. I don't know if I want to talk about it here, or if I want to talk about it in my own separate video. So, we'll see. They won yesterday. They beat Michigan State. <laughs> Go blue. Let's get it. All right. So with that out the way, here's what's going on today. Normally, I will live stream for an hour and a half. Tonight is two hours. So yes, you're going to see me working. Like, I would be on the clock within 51 minutes. Although my work laptop is over there. So you won't see me, but I'll still be interacting with you guys. Like, the first, my first hour in is very easy. So I don't really have to do much. I don't really have to do much. Now, I do need to cut my TV on, which is right here. All right, so, let's talk about it. You know, some of you guys already talked about it already. But actually, before we get to it, I gotta do the contest. I got to do the contest. So, the little small contest that I do in just about every live stream that I do. So, here are the four individuals I am looking for. And just these four only, no one else. Don't add any other names to this list. None of that, just these four, and just one of them. You will not be rewarded for two or more, just one. Hey, Lions for days, what is that? Yes, it was a great weekend. Lions run today, Pistons 2-0. Hang on, hang, hang on, hang on. They beat Michigan State. It's a good weekend, yes. It's a great weekend. And we got community today. A great weekend indeed. Now there's this light that is reflected on my glasses. It probably this right here, to be honest. But anywho. Oh, Gio uh, Paseo. What is up? Thanks for showing up to the live stream. Unfortunately, I'm not good in Spanish. I'm assuming that is Spanish. But thank you for showing up to the live stream, nevertheless. All right, so let's talk about it. No, the contest. The contest first. So here are the four names. Here are the four names that I am looking for in regards to community today. Now, that did say, hey, nephew, what is up, man? Thank you for showing up to the live stream. Um, one of these days, look, 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 nephew, this is my work spot. You see it, right? <laughs> so one of these days this week, I will be getting on that call, that call of duty, that call of duty. <laughs> and a bunch of papers nearly fell over as I was putting my PS4 down. Matter of fact, where's my controller? Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew it was something. It's, it was something regarding in the friend code. Yeah, it said me number, and then I tried to read the rest, but I couldn't because my nephew showed up. But um, here are the four names I'm looking for. So, we're going to look for the person who just sent me that gift, Pokemon Master Holly, JT Gully, Dark, Math, Dark Matter Wolf, and I'm going to get really risky here. Trainer tip. So, here's the, here's, here's the deal. If you bring in Pokemon Master Holly, JT Gully, or Dark Master, Dark Mat, uh, Dark Matter Wolf, rather. I would give you twenty dollars towards Google Play or iTunes. But if you bring in Trainer Tips, I would give you thirty. And you can only you can only be rewarded with one. So, for example, you bring in Holly and Trainer Tips. No, that's that's not going to work. You only go get 
I'm gonna be, give you the most, which will be 30. So, you know, to be fair, I'm gonna give you the most. I'm not gonna give you 30 and 20. No, that's not happening. I'm not gonna stack up the rewards. It's just one reward, and it's the highest one you can possibly get. So, if you bring in trainer tips, no, not Pokemon Master Blue. Again, don't add any names. No, it's Pokemon Master Holly, JT Gully, Dark Matter Wolf, $20 towards Google Play or iTunes. Trainer tips, $30 towards Google Play or iTunes. Or iTunes. So I'm looking for these four individuals since they're already in Cali doing community day. I was going to dip my farts. But yeah, th those are the four. No, no, not the X1, not this time. I'm only looking for those four. That's it. Not the X1, not Reverso, not Zoe, not uh, Poke Girl, not JT Valor. Not, like, they can come in here, but you won't be rewarded for those. I'm, again, it's Holly, JT Gully, Gully, not Valor, JT Gully, Dark Matter Wolf, Trainer Tips. Those are the four. Nope, it's still 20. Every, everybody's 20. Trainer Tips is 30, but everybody else is 20. Don't, don't, you know, don't increase that either. All right, and no, I did not, no, no JT Valor, no. I mean, no, he can come in here, he's cool, he's part of the Poke Crew, apparently that's what we're being labeled as, but no, you won't be rewarded for JT Valor, it's JT Gully, not JT Valor. You won't be rewarded for JT Valor. All right, can we get on Community Day? Let's get on to Community Day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> First of all, that was two weeks ago, and secondly, no, y'all caught, y'all trying to mess up that system there. Uh, let me see. Ah, man, okay. <laughs> that was funny, but uh, let's see what we got going, what we got going. Oh, let me show you guys my collection. So you get a sneak peek of what I got. Oh, man, Bridget was in here. This is... Are you letting the dog out? All right, cool, cool. <laughs> oh. Now here's why it's not more because, like, um, I'm gonna ignore that. Oh wait, why am I in here? I don't want to be in here. I want to go in here because, like, if she if she paid attention, like, if she really saw that I was live streaming, I believe she would come in here. But you know, she could be busy and things of that nature. So that's why, it, and it'd be harder for people to get twenty tips in here rather than Holly. So, all right. So here's my collection for today. So I'm going to. Let me see. Oh, shinies. And I had a crazy day. I had a crazy day. I'll show y'all. And you, you see some of them already. You see some of them already. So this is doing community day. So I caught 10 shiny beldums. I evolved some of them all the way up to Metagross. And we're going to do some evolutions doing this live stream as well. Mm, that's good. But we're going to be doing some evolutions as well. Oh, you got 100% IV with champ. That's what's up. I bet you it was a lucky. I bet you it was a lucky too. But yeah, here's what I got. So yeah, you see that um 2417 medical horse, and you see it right there. That's not what I want. That pineco, that shiny pineco right there, man. I caught that while I was out looking for shiny beldons. I was so geek when I caught that one. You will see that in. Tuesday's video But yeah, man, it was pretty crazy when I caught that. I was like, oh my gosh. Are you serious? Let me turn that a little ah, Right here is good. But yeah And that's my second one. So I'm gonna borrow my other one today And actually I want to send out a tweet to Ralph because history gonna be made for your board today in this live stream as well But I would rather wait for Ralph to get in here <clears throat> Let's see I'm typing on Twitter. Uh, let's see. We're going to copy this, copy the stream, and we're going to paste that here. Oh, what's the Westbrook return? Okay, cool. And actually, I need to get something on the TV. Where's my remote? But as you see, there go that pint though, as I'm currently going through my Twitter. So let's go through my shiny beldos. Again, I got 10 of them. So we got this one right here, which I ironically enough named I, uh, X Hug Robot. 
this, I guess you could say there's like a little backstory to that, I guess. I don't know. We got this one right here. This bell, though. And none of them have good IVs, unfortunately. They got that shiny Pico. There's one more thing that I caught that was not shiny, or really hatch, that was not shiny, but was still major, nevertheless. So, again, I caught 10 shiny Beldums. My alt caught three. So, really, I caught 13 total today. And I evolved, I think I evolved four of these all the way up to Metagross. So, yeah. All right, yeah, that's all of them right there. All right, so with that out the way, let me get back to this screen. Okay, so now with that out the way, and actually, I think I see somebody else coming here. Okay, yeah, here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Jekyll Gomez Gillen. Hope I said your name correct. Uh, what is up? Thank you for showing to the live stream. And no, we do not exchange accounts. We do not spoof. We do not do any of that in here. But <laughs> so shiny. No, we were going. Oh, you, oh, you didn't get it lucky. I thought it was lucky. Okay. All right, so Rock Lobster, you got six on your account and six on your on Mrs. Lobster's account. Okay, that's cool. It was a car early on. Oh, okay. A shiny. Oh yeah, that shiny Nina ring. Yeah, I will be doing that today as well. Thank you for reminding me. Yes, I will be doing that today as well. All right. So I'm waiting on a certain somebody to come in here, and it's not one of the four names that I mentioned. Um, it's somebody else. Because again, history is going to be made for me today doing this live stream within the next, uh, what is that, 32 minutes. Within the next 32 minutes, your boy will be making history. So, but enough about me. Let's talk about you guys. How do you do on community today? So that's my question for you guys. How do you do on community today? Let me get out of here. Oh, and I'm gonna show you guys, what is this? Oh, okay, melting. All right, I'm gonna show you guys Another thing that I got today that I hatch actually, and you, you, you probably seen already. So can anybody, while well, you answer the question of how you do on community today, can anybody point out what is the Pokemon that I hatch from this list right here? I'm looking at it right now. <clears throat> I'm looking at it. <sighs> Let me see what the chat is saying. Let's see. Oh, you got a 20. Ooh, wow, that's nice. 2269. And Mewtwo's, they were popping up all over the place today. We're going to talk more about Mewtwo in a second, actually. But, yeah, that's really dope. That 2269. I'm going to try to get in some Mewtwo raids tomorrow. Like, I'll probably wake up. I hope I can wake up a decent time. And I can just get out to Dearborn and do a crap ton of Mewtwo raids. Because Mewtwo going to raid this Tuesday. I'm assuming they're going to go away at 4 o'clock. So, by the time I wake up on Tuesday, they'll be gone. We'll see what happens there. But, 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 but. How do you guys do in community today? I know Rock Lobster, he got like a grand total of 12 shinies. Wes, how do you do? Because I know I saw you earlier today, right when um, community day started. Let's see. You got a terrible thing from new team. What, what's the terrible thing? What, what are you talking about? What, what's this terrible thing? <clears throat> I, I'm kind of curious. But yeah, in terms of everybody else, how did you guys do in regards to Community Day? That's my question for you guys. And actually, I forgot to do something. Uh, where is it? I guess I should. Yeah, I need to open up a new tab. And we're going to do this real quick. And I'm currently not looking at chat, so I can't see your replies yet. But, but keep it coming, though. Keep it coming. Y'all know me. I always wait for the replies. So, yeah, keep it coming. Uh, let's see. Okay, cool. All right, sweet. That's what's up. All right, so now with that out the way. Oh, wow. So, you are you trying to get that um, Wheelu? Yeah, man. I think everybody was. <laughs> Trap is day. You had five? Wow. Oh, wow, you got four. Well, you know, at least you got, like, at least three. If you, in my opinion, if you get at least three shinies doing community oh today, oh you know, that feature Pokemon, that's a good day for you because you can evolve them, like, one to the maximum, the other one to his second form, and keep the third one as is. So, as long as you got three, that is successful in my book. You got... How you forget to do... How you forget... Oh, wow. So, you got seven shinies. How you forget to evolve the shinies? 
You did evolve to ooh, 98%. Wow, nice. That's what's up. My four new eggs have been Trappist, Trappist, Bagon, Dratini, and Lavatar. Well, aside from the Trappist, that's not bad, actually. So, you can't really hate on that one. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna rise that. Right, I'm on my shift. But yeah, let's yeah, I'm gonna hear more from you guys in regards to in regards to your community day. <clears throat> that's crazy. He looks so. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that is him. Wow, that's crazy. But uh, so yeah, I'm gonna hear more on you guys community day. <laughs> <laughs> Milton stupid, but uh, <laughs> oh, it was a hundo. Yeah, see that made up for it right there. <clears throat> like I'll be, I'll delete or transfer every other trappers you have in its evolved form, unless it's a hundo, and just keep the hundo. Hey, what is up, Milton man? Milton, Milton, Milton. Thank you for showing up to the live stream, and I saw your message. Hmm. <laughs> That is good. That's probably eliminate. <clears throat> but so the question is, how did everybody do on community day? And Melton, we're doing that contest again. So basically, I'm looking for <clears throat> these four people only. But there's a twist. There's a small twist. I'm looking for Pokemon Master Holly, JT Gully, Dark Mat Dark Matter Wolf. If you bring in one of those three, you'll get twenty dollars for a Google Play or iTunes card. Or I can tune as whatever. But if you bring in trainer tips, I will hook you up with 30. So that's 30 for Google Play or 30 towards iTunes. Now, if you bring in trainer tips to somebody else, you're only getting 30. If you bring in JT Gully and Dark Matter Wolf, you're only getting 20. You know, things of that nature. So you only will be rewarded for one. And if it happens to be 20 tips, that would be the highest one you get, which would be 30. So just 20 tips is 30 only. Everybody else is 20, and don't add any more names. <laughs> Damn, you're in trouble. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what the chat is saying. I would check if I had any guys. Good shiny IVs, but no luck. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Man, uh-oh. Why my video output is low? Hang on. Hold up. Let's check on the chat. Let's see. Let's see what happens if we refresh. Because I'm in the chat too. Well, I'm in the stream as well, but I'm going to refresh, see what happens. Um, I'm probably going to have to. No, I don't want to do that either. But I may have to go wired <clears throat> if it could see it act up like that. All right. So, yeah, okay. So, basically. Okay. There we go. So, hopefully. All right, so let's see. I don't know what happened. Um, my wire con wireless connection is acting a bit iffy, so I may have to go wireless. I mean, not wireless, but wired rather. But we'll wait and see. We we'll see how that goes and things of that nature. But yeah, so you know, I want to hear from you guys in regards to your community day. Like, how was your community day? And okay, let me see. Your best shiny IV is sixty nine. Your best none shiny is 91. <clears throat> okay. Oh, wow. You had to refresh several times. Wow. Yeah, that's messed up. Yeah, I probably will go riot. So. Hey, JT Valor. What is up, man? Thank you for showing up to the live stream. <clears throat> um, Is it froze again? No, it's just laggy. Okay, so. Usually not return that. Okay. So, give me. <clears throat> wow. All right, so I'm about to uh, make this go wired because I'm looking at my uh, stream help. It's in the red. So give me a few seconds. I'll be right back, and I'm going to uh, add a cord to my laptop. So yeah, give me a second. For some reason, that one spot ain't working either. Let's see. Should be right here. Then.
All right, so hopefully that's good. I see it's in the gold. So hopefully that's straight. If it's still buggy, refresh again. And this guy, JT Valor, this guy, they call him the Shiny King for a very good reason. Like, he called a Shiny Bulbasaur today. But look, look, look. Actually, this is where I last left off. So let me show you guys what I had today. There you go. That. And this is my second Chimeco that I got. Now, the other one I caught out in the wild. I have never seen that before. But this one I actually hatched. So I'm really happy about that. Rhyming well, I mean, accidentally. <laughs> Alright, so let's see who let's see what's going on here. Um, let's see. You had a 98 before community day. Oh, okay, that's cool. Might have to talk about what you were saying about the contest. Oh, okay, so you didn't get that part. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got here. How many shinies do you end up with? I'm gonna get 13. I got 10 on my main and 13 on my alt. I mean a 13, but three on my alt, so 13. <laughs> Sing Jay Z's both again. So we got Barter Plays. What is up, man? Thank you for showing up to the live stream. How did you get people to trade for your CD, CD shiny? Oh, community day shinies. You just walk up to them and say, hey, let's trade. Like, during that final hour where you can evolve your um, Beldons all the way up to Metagross to get Media Mask. So, like, community day went from 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 5. And then you went from 5 to 6 to go for your Pokemon and evolve your Beldons all the way up to Meteor Mask. So, during that time, that's when you should be walking to people and say, once you go through your Pokemon, well, your Beldons that you call, see which ones have good IVs, not necessarily know what the IVs are, but see they have good IVs, keep those, transfer the rest. Once you got that out the way, and once you evolve your Beldons, your shiny Beldons, or how many number of Beldons you want to get Metagross, to become Metagross with Meteor Mask, then you go up to people and say, hey, who wanna trade? That's how you trade doing community day, basically. All right, so let's see. Vasude Grade, what is up? Thank you, Shona, to the live stream. I got 10 on my main, 13 on my alt. So I got 10 on my main, 3 on my alt, 13 total. So yeah, there you go with that. All right, since we got new people in here, and my uh, live stream is in the green, or go, whatever. Yeah, let me see if I can see what the gold means. YouTube saying it's gold, but my OBS system saying green, so I don't know what that means. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's just okay. Hmm. I don't know about that one. But let me go through the contest again for you guys real quick. I'm looking for four individuals to come into the live stream. Yeah, yeah. It's a trip that I, a trip a tip. Yeah, that just like I mentioned it in Tuesday's video. I will mention it in Tuesday's video. So this would be useful for the upcoming community days, which we will talk about in a minute. But let me go through the contest one more time. The little contest. I'm looking for these four names. JT Gal uh, Gilly, JT Gilly, Dark Matter Wolf, Pokemon Master Holly. If you bring in one of these three individuals, not two or three, but one, I will give you $20 towards iTunes or Google Play, whichever one you have. Now, if you bring in the fourth one, Trainer Tips, and that's training tips alone or training tips and somebody else. I don't care. You will automatically get $30 towards Google Play or iTunes. So you will only be rewarded for one. Don't add any more names to that. You'll only be rewarded for one. And if it's training tips, you will get the maximum award, which is $30 towards Google Play or iTunes. And you got until the end of this live stream, which is two hours. So instead of it ending in the next hour, it will end in an hour and a half. So within 29 minutes, I'm going to clock in the work and I'm going to do my job, which won't be hard at all. And then I'm going to get back to you guys. As long as I don't have any emails or phone, I may get a phone call here. So I may switch over to, I don't know what screen I'm going to switch over to. Probably my starting soon screen because I'm going to get an email coming in. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not email a phone call. I'm going to get a phone call from my job. In about like 29 minutes so, and yes thank you rod lobster yes mash that like button and subscribe thank you we are trying to get up to 500 subscribers before the year is over all right so with that out the way let's talk about next month's community day so let me actually um let me see who would have it it would be i think it's pokemon go events if i google search that 
So let me switch, switch over to here real quick. And you're seeing a black screen. I'm about to change that in a second. Uh, that's not what I want. Where's it at? Is this what I want? Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Right there. <clears throat> All right. So let me see. Let me find the... Uh... Ah, here we go. <laughs> he said I visited this page on my birthday. <laughs> November 10th. That's the... Wow, that's kind of... Wait a minute, isn't that like kind of soon? Let me look at the calendar real quick. That's that's kind of soon. Like that's like uh I know that's a Saturday. Yeah, that's two weeks. That's two weeks from this Saturday. Yeah, that's kind of soon. So the next community day is on November 10th, two weeks from this Saturday, which is crazy if I do say so myself. So that's the next community day. Uh, so this one's for today. Now, if I look at past events, which is I'm about to do that right now. Where's yeah, this one. And the one for here, I forgot. Was it uh Chikorita? Yeah, what was it? I think it was Chikorita. Uh, I don't remember what the last yeah, it was Chikorita. So here's my question for you guys. What's next? It's obviously gonna be uh Cinequil or Total Dow. And if I was, I'm trying to recall how was it earlier with the whole Bulbasaur, Charmander, Scroll. I think it was in that order. Yeah, I think it was in that order. So I think uh, Cinecrill is next. I think Cinecrill will be next. But what about you guys? What do you think will be the next feature Pokemon in the upcoming Community Day, which is again on November 10th, as you can see right above me? All right, so. That's my question for you guys. Let me check on the, the yeah, it's still in the go. So hopefully we still, we should be good for the most part. But yeah, and is there any way I can make this even better? I guess I could close down Google Chrome for the time being. But let me take care of something real quick on Google Chrome and then I'm gonna close it down. But yeah, that's my question for you guys. What are your predictions for the next feature Pokemon in November's Community Day, which is again, November 10th, which is a Saturday. Do Michigan play that day? More than likely they do. And who they play and what time do they play? If they play Ohio State and it's doing a night game, I'll be happy with that. I'll be satisfied with that. Okay. I'll look that up in a second. Let me close down Google Chrome. And now I'm with that open. What the heck? There we go. Ah, it's in the red again. Oh, wow. It's not... Oh, first of all, it's not me plugged in. That's why. Right. I thought it was plugged in, but it wasn't plugged in this whole time. That explains a lot. So hopefully my stream should be better now. But yeah, let's get out of there, actually. Let's see. And... Hmm. Cinecrill most likely? Okay, let's see. Okay, go. Let me see what, what's going on here. Okay, I don't know why I call Tucson anytime my friend house. <laughs> yeah, this is epic. You got 13 your main. Yeah, yeah. See, all of mine are bad at it. Fabrizio Mendoza, what is up? Thank you for showing up to the live stream. Let's see, Halloween event hype. Yeah, I I think that will start some point this week. The Halloween event. I think it will start this week. Marta, you said Cinecrew as well. JVB, you said Cinecrew as well. See, that's how it is. No wonder people take their shoes off to increase their odds. Do you need to evolve? Bell don't do any community. Uh, Barter, if you want the medium mass move, it has to be doing community day. Once community day is over and once that extra hour is over, that's it. You will not get medium mass. You can still evolve your Bell don't, shiny or regular. In fact, I'm about to evolve my Bell don't to Matane doing this live stream. But in regards to getting medium mass, that is done. That is over. That is finito. All right, so let's see. Um, where did I left off at? Oh, I bought it. Okay, Cinequil doing. Okay, now I decided for Cinequil shiny or not. Wow, that's messed up. Okay, so a lot of people agree with me. And think it will be Cinequil. So that apparently that's not much to talk about there. All right, let's move on to Mewtwo. Let me um whip out my Mewtwo collection and see. I'm gonna show you why I have not been doing a lot of Mewtwo raids. One because I've been sleeping until like four in the afternoon. And then all the raids in like at seven. So I've been taking my sweet time to get out there and raid. But with Shinx out there and then Shiny Form is out there, I need more Shinx. So 
I'm gonna have to do some more raiding tomorrow. And really this week, mostly for Shank. But I'll do some Mewtwo as well. But look at my Mewtwo collection. We're going to change that to combat power. And I'm about to show you guys my Mewtwo collection right here, right now. So check this out. Here's my Mewtwo collection. Yeah, that's my Mewtwo collection. So at some point, I'm going to go through these and be like, okay, whichever one have the legacy move, I'm going to keep everything else that is that have crappy IVs, I'm going to transfer. So I'm going to have to go through these at some point in time. So, yeah. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, What I want? Oh, yeah, I want this so I can see this. And it's in the red still for some reason. Even though I'm plugged, I'm wired. Uh... I don't know. Let's see. Let me refresh my um dashboard. See if that would help. And that's really why are all these up? Um no 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 let's keep that up. Uh-oh. Did I look no the chat should be straight. Okay, the chat yeah, the chat is good. Okay, I'm about to say. Yeah, I have no clue what's going on with my connection. And the messed up part is, oh, oh, okay, here's something new. You feel Total Dial is next? Oh, that's interesting. Look, why you feel that, Ray? <laughs> why you feel that type of Ray? <laughs> now my OBS says green, though, so that's interesting. I don't know. Let me see. Let me refresh the stream on another thing. And actually, let me close this down. Man, that is good. That is oh so good. What I probably do is get that. Yeah, I saw that device, that Wi Fi extender, or whatever. I probably go get that. Plug it up over here. Let's see if that will work. <clears throat> but, yeah. Where you at with the, your Mewtwo's? You saw my Mewtwo collection. So, that's my question for you guys. Are you satisfied with. The amount of Mewtwo's do you have? Do you still need to raid more Mewtwo's? I, I want a perfect Mewtwo. And actually, I think my highest IV Mewtwo is that 91 percenter. Which is at the top. Yeah, that 91 percent. Oh, no, I got a 96. My bad. Oh, I got two 96s. So I got two 96 Mewtwo's. I forgot about that. So I got two 96 Mewtwo's and a number 91. So I can power all of these up and have a beastly Mewtwo army. <laughs> So, I almost forgot about that. I forgot about the 296s. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you, Barter. Thank you for that, man. So, let's see. Here's the one thing I like to do. And we're going to open a new tab. Actually, I'll take care of it right now. Okay, I don't want a lot of tabs up, to be honest. Okay, it's back in the gold. So, I guess I'll take that for now. For now, I guess. But yeah, Grade, why you feel Total Dial is next? That's my question for you. But for everybody else, what are your thoughts about Mewtwo? What are your thoughts about Mewtwo ending as a tier 5 raid boss? Do you, <clears throat> oh, gosh. Do you think it will go back to being an EX raid boss? Or do you think it will be gone? Like, completely gone? That's my question for you guys as I got 19 minutes left before I have to sign in for work. Let me see. Turn that down a bit. Turn this up a bit. All right, we should be straight right there. All right, so that's my question for you guys. What do you think about Mewtwo leaving or, yeah, leaving as a tier five raid boss? <laughs> oh, you haven't caught many total downs. I think we will get total down in January, uh, 2019, and as a uh, feature Pokemon for Community Day, January 2019. That is good. <clears throat> that is good. All right. <clears throat> Actually, I need to see who's on right now, man. I, my TV is still not on yet, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Let me check my Twitter real quick. Oh, my gosh, Milton. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Why you, why you going to treat that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh 
Oh man, that is hilarious. <laughs> I just saw that. That is funny. That is hilarious. <clears throat> Snap Gauntlet and YouTube disintegrated. <laughs> You have 390, oh yeah, 396 percenters. Okay, one is maxed out, the other two are a work in progress. The one that's maxed out was my favorite. Oh wow, that's nice, that's what's up. Mine's not swollen up. I won't be happy unless it's at least 96. I think they'll, we'll cycle him out for now. Yeah, yeah, they can always bring him back. Yeah, I agree with that one. The other two was tier five raid bosses. Okay, I recommend having Lucky Mewtwo just to say Stardust instead of deleting just trade. Yeah, that's a good point, yeah, I, I yeah. That's what I really want to do. I want to trade Mewtwo's and be like, Lucky, Great IVs, and do that. So, you need to get the friendships up. And speaking of which, I'm waiting on this one person to show up in here. I'm not sure he's still up or if he's asleep or he's out and about. I don't know what's up with this guy. But, right before midnight hits, whether this guy show up in here or not, and Melton, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, I'm a... Actually, I need to go through my friends list, actually, because I got, like, 17 minutes to go through my friends list and open gifts so I can maintain my friendship status. So, we're going to start off with Holly real quick, since she sent me a gift. Let me see what's her, um, <laughs> it's this one again from the brewing company in San Fran. All right, let's open this one. <clears throat> All right, so, let's move on from Mewtwo, and let's talk about Gen 4. So, Gen 4 was released last week. What are your guys' thoughts about it and how they released it? You know, what are, you, what are your guys' thoughts on that? Oh, she changed it. <laughs> she changed it. She changed the buddy. Okay. So now we're going to switch it up from nickname to friendship level. So, there you see it right there. As soon as I open that gift for my leading, uh, my leading friend in the game, I will have my very first best friend. So I would rather have them in here when I do this, but like right before midnight, I have to open it. I have to open the gift. And let me see. Where I think I, uh, I'm going to be best friend with her tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> that nickname, though. <laughs> oh, man. Where's my chat? There it is. Happy with the Mewtwo I caught today. Amazing health. Just as a person with attack blown away. Okay. Nice. <laughs> that nickname though alright so we're gonna open up Bridget who is not in here her gift I think I would be best friend oh you don't oh you don't like how they released it hey do tell why you don't like how they released it me I'm, I'm a little bit on the fence with it yeah I know exactly don't forget that lucky egg yeah <clears throat> I'm a little bit on the fence in regards to how they released Gen 4 <clears throat> because I, I kinda like it because we're going to be busy looking for Shinx raids, doing all these Shinx raids for the candies, for the, uh, to find that shiny form. Let me see. Yeah, five more days with her. Okay, so this week I'll have her as a best friend. The homie Osiris. Saw him today. At community day. But, yeah. But at the same time, it's like, y'all could have at least released the evolutions. Like, some of the Pokemon from Gen 1, they have ev you know evolutions in Gen 4. So they could have released those. Like, for example, the Eevees, the Electabuzz, the Mag... Especially that Magmar. I got that shiny Magmar. Like, come on, man. Like, what y'all doing? This... <clears throat> so, yeah, they could have done a better job with that. I agree. But, yes, yeah, so I'm on the fence with how they released Gen 4. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about how they release Gen 4? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? And why? That's my question for you guys. Why do you like how they release Gen 4? Or why do you dislike how they release Gen 4 as I'm opening up these gifts? <coughs> I forgot to cut my heat off. <coughs> oh, I got... Okay, yeah, I saw that already. Uh, let's see. Let me check Twitter again. See is anything new on there? No, nothing's new on here. <laughs> Why that face though? That is hilarious. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. That is too funny. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, Reg, I just opened up your gift. I was just going through and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. That was Reg's gift. <laughs> 
Alright, the homie Afro saw him earlier today. <clears throat> so apparently there was a perfect um Beldum out and about. I missed it. And I was not told about it until very late. They was like, hey true, did you get that shiny uh belt? I'm like, where? So in Discord, they should attack everyone instead of tagging my name like minutes after they saw it. I'm like, really? What the heck? And then I was giving directions to the wrong spot. So I was like, oh, man, that, that kind of messed up my rhythm. So even though I had 10, not, what not, yeah, 10 shinies today, I felt like I probably could have had at least one more or two more if I didn't go down this one route. But at the same time, if it wasn't for that route, I would have not caught that shiny pineco. So it's all good. Alright. <clears throat> I gotta be careful here because I don't wanna open up all these gifts and then I can't open up um the homie gift. Oh I could open it up the next day. So it don't matter really, now that I think about it. Uh oh, let's see. Luis Hernandez, what is up? Thank you for showing up to the live stream. So Luis, how was your community day today? What are your thoughts about Mewtwo leaving? And what are your thoughts about how they released Gen 4 so far? That really that's the main question. What are your thoughts about how they release Gen 4? Uh-oh, Rock Lobster. Trying to open your gift. And let's see. But yeah, that's my question. Okay, I need this TV on. Where's my remote? This. So I'm going to on my TV. That's not the correct remote. Where's the... Oh, there it is. And I'm going to mute my TV. I say I'm going to mute my TV. There we go. I'm going to see if there's any games on or not. But let's move on. And open some more gifts. So we got the homegirl Brandy Russ. Oh, I guess all the games, yeah, all the games in it. Ain't the cheap. Just killed the Bengals. Good. <laughs> all right. So we got 11 minutes left before I have to log into work. But the live stream will go on for another hour. So don't you worry. Don't you worry. The live stream will go on for another hour. All right, so I'm gonna open up, let me see. All the way down to Chi. All right, let me read what this says. I feel like I need to release the first raid, not enough Pokemon. Yeah, that's another point, yeah. I feel like they didn't really release a lot of Pokemon, yeah. But again, um, once you capture all these Pokemon and you got enough candy to evolve, like your best one, cause you gotta look for the ones that have good IVs and hatch the ones that have good IVs and things of that nature. You'll be busy Looking for a Shinx raid, you'll be busy looking for a 10k eggs, you'll be busy trying to hack to, uh, that Rallo or whatever that joint is called. Trying to get that Lucario. So, wait, did I? Hang on. Oh, yeah, I did interact with him today. Okay, cool. Okay, I see. Yeah, I'm gonna open up hers, and then Mike's, and then Shells, and then I'm gonna open up Raph's gift, and I'm gonna get my very first best friend. Your community day today, six shinies in the main account, five in a second. <laughs> Sad for Mewtwo. <laughs> it's Gen 4 pretty good so far. If he doesn't come, then Badoof. <laughs> that is funny. Melvin, man, you, you too much, that. I'm about to open up Mike's gift. And then I got nine minutes to go through these gifts. And again, so I'm going to remind everybody, I will be on the clock at work from home again. So I'm going to be going this way. You can't see it, but I'm going to be this way on my work laptop doing some work. You'll still hear me talk. I'll still be in the game, but you won't see me. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got, what we got, what we got. But you won't be able to see me. So don't, you know, don't panic. Don't sweat. I didn't leave anything like that. I would... Still be near the laptop. I'll just be working for about like five to ten minutes. Let's see. If they release 20 a week, that should be good. I don't know. Well, 20. I'll probably say 15 because there's not a lot of new Pokemon in Gen 4. You got to keep that in mind. I think it's like 80 something. So you're talking about releasing Gen 4 within a month. All of Gen 4 within a month. Oh, he missed that extra point. <clears throat> okay, I said I'll go open up shells. I'll open up hers after I open up uh, wraps. Let me check Twitter again, real quick. But, yeah, that's what's going on. That is exactly what's going on right now. We all lose and Shinx hype. Can't wait to get some more raisin. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. 
I'm gonna be gunning for 10k eggs. All right, so here we go. Moment of truth. Your boy is about to get his very first best friend right here, right now. We about to do this. We about to get this out the way because there's like eight minutes left. And I got like a lot more gifts to open up. You ended up with three shiny Beldons community day, none shiny Metagross with medium man and a shiny Metagross deck. Torterra got a lucky Beldon. Okay, that's cool. So I'm about to put on a lucky egg. I only got 10 of those. So I'm going to need some more it's pretty soon. All right. So here we go. My very but first rider, best friend, is happening right now. All right, so let me send him a message saying I'm opening the egg, lucky egg time. Let's see. Oh, wait, that's 316, okay. Uh, yes, I did spell that correctly. Okay, cool. All right, so here we go. And you got a shiny, hang on, let me read that. Oh, you got a shiny magic card. Okay, that's pretty cool. I have a lucky Metagross, but was before, oh, but was before community day. Mm. All right, so here it is. This is it. And we're going to see it right here, right now, any second. There it is. My very first best friend. Yes, me and Nightraft316 are now best friends. That's my very first best friend. The race is over. It was Osiris up there. Then Kedra took it, and then Rap just crept up and took it, and he won. He got, he became my very first best friend in the game, and bam, there go my medal. And I'm going to get that gold this week when I'm going to get Kedra to be my best friend, and then Bridget will be my third best friend this week. So, yes, I got my very first best friend in Pokemon Go. Shout out to Rap, who is not in here, unfortunately. But I did send him a message saying, um, you know, uh, put that lucky egg on. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Phil. Right. First best friend hype. Yes. Yeah, because a lot of people were saying, oh, man, I got my best friend. I got, like, five best friends. I got ten best friends. I'm sitting here, like, I got none. Like, <laughs> like I was, like, two weeks away, three weeks away, and stuff like that. All right. I still got to open up more gifts before midnight shows up, and then I got to clock in to work. <laughs> best friend hype. <clears throat> All right, let me down this drink real quick. Mm. That is so good. I'm going to give me some more. Probably after the stream ends. All right, so if you look, if you look over that array, actually, I'm going to point to it right here. I'm pointing to it right here with my thumb. You should see this uh, topic, YouTube Killing Super Chat. You're probably going, what that's, what is that about? Well, and first of all, that's not beer. That is strawberry lemonade. I forget what I think it's. I forgot what brand it is. I forget what brand it is. Oh, V8, V8 something, V8 something tropical lemonade. But <clears throat> let me see if I can find it real quick. Oh, I got a message. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> wow. But let me see if I can find this YouTube. Super chat. Before I like go all into it. Okay, so they are changing the policy for the super chat on YouTube. YouTube slash Google. They're doing that. So let me see if I can find the uh what it says here and I'll show it to you guys. Let me see. Let me read this real quick. Okay, <clears throat> so let me show you guys this article that I found real quick. Yeah, no problem, Barter. Yeah, no problem, man. Yeah, if you sub to me during the stream, I'll sub right back. That's how I roll. All right, so here it is. Here's this article right here. Ignore the video on the bottom right. I'm going to see if I can um, actually get rid of this. No, I can't get rid of that, unfortunately. But I can't pause it. All right, so basically, the article explains, as I'm opening more gifts before uh, midnight comes, the article explains that YouTube will now send the revenue from any abusive commenters who purchase a super chat to a charity of their choosing. Instead of splitting them out 
between itself and the creator. If a user is caught sending abusive super chats, the revenue received will be donated to charity instead of being split between YouTube and the channel's creator. The statement read. So basically, <clears throat> here's what's going on. Here's what's going on. I don't know when they're going to start this. I don't know if they started this already. But here's what's going on. So let's say I have super chat. I do not have super chat because I don't no longer, well, I don't meet the requirements to have super chat at the moment. I need a thousand subs for that. But let's say I have super chat, right? And let's say um, Rock Lobster sent me a super chat. And he said some abusive stuff. I'm not going to like give you an example. But he said something that's like really negative, really abusive, and things of that nature, right? Uh, I'm not sure if I will see the super chat because not, I had to read more about it. But, um, but here's the here's the deal. I'm again. I may be able to. Oh, okay. That's my um. That's my limit. Okay, cool. So we we made it. So there's a lot of gifts I need to open up at midnight. And then there's some Pokemon I'm going to evolve as well. So I'm not sure if I was, as a content creator, would see the Super Chat. I'm not sure if you guys would see the Super Chat. I don't know how that part would work. But the amount of money that that, that Rock Lobster put in the Super Chat, I won't receive a dime of it. Instead, it would go straight to charity. Now, in terms of the comment... YouTube and the content creator won't receive a dime from it. I'm not buying that for a second. I truly believe that Google, aka YouTube, will take part of that money and keep it for themselves, and then the rest they'll send to charity. I truly believe that. I do not buy into the whole or all of it will go to charity BS. I'm not buying that for a second. I'm not buying that for a second. So, for any of you guys who are content creators and like to live stream and May get a thousand subscribe, uh, yes, a thousand subscribers or half a thousand subscribers already. You may want to look into other forms outside the super chat because it's bad enough that Google gets a piece of your money for super chat. Now they're denying it altogether because of the accents from somebody else. That is totally not your fault. Your fault as the content creator. So, for example, Poker Girl, she got. She put whole PayPal out there. Like when she live streams, and she was in this uh, stream, I think two or three weeks ago. Yeah. She put her PayPal out there. Okay, it's midnight. So I'm going to keep talking, but I'm going to go over here. So she put her PayPal out there for people to donate. You can even leave a note as a comment. She will read it on her live stream. Now, we also, he uses Streamlab. And basically, he connect that with his uh, YouTube live stream or whatever. I'm uh, pretty sure it's easy to do. He will get a notification. The stream will see it. And um, he got a setup where his vocalizer or whatever will read it off to the chat and to himself, or he can read it as well. So if you're a content creator and you live stream and you may or may not have a thousand subscribers, uh, I'm letting you know right now, YouTube will deny you your money if somebody in your chat send out an abusive super chat. Or what they deem to be an abusive super chat. So it could be something like nipples, cucumbers, butt cheeks. Oh, that's abusive. You ain't getting your money. I, I crap you not. That, that's how it is. That's that. Again, I don't know when that's going to take place. It could be taking place right now. So again, if you are a content creator, if you like to live stream, and you are able to have super chat, I recommend you close that crap down. I recommend you close it down. You shut it down. And you like put your PayPal out there or you roll with Steam Labs. You use one of those or any other method where you can like get a super chat through any other means. But YouTube Super Chat, no. Do not rely on that. Not one bit. Don't do it. Cause YouTube, they, they getting out of control with that BS. They are getting out of control. Alright, so I'm currently on my main laptop, which is why you can't see me. You, you can see my chair. Like you can see parts of me. I'm right here, in case you're wondering. But I am now getting on the clock <laughs> to do my job from home. And in case you're wondering, it starts at midnight, Eastern Standard Time, up until 8 a.m. So that's why I've been having lack of sleep this past weekend. Uh, because Community Day, Sunday, and Michigan, Michigan State game this past Saturday. And this team won. They beat State. What's up? So, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to get a phone call 
So I'm gonna switch over here. So phone numbers won't be shown and things of that nature. I'm gonna get a phone call any second, and then I'm gonna answer that phone call. I won't pause the stream, but you know this is work-related stuff, so I apologize for showing this. Or what if I could do? Let me go back here real quick. Uh, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> we just do that. So that's what's going on right now. So let me um take care of this. I'm gonna be talking to you guys still. I can still see the chat. Sleep hype. All right, Rock Lobster, man. Thank you for showing up to the live stream, man. Have a good one. It is, it is, it is hot garbage. It is hot garbage because Google, like, if you like, if this is your primary, it's not my primary job, and I'm not monetized, so I could care less. And even if I was monetized before this even came up, like, I'm not going to use Super Chat. I'm not going to promote my Super Chat like that. Instead, I was going to go with Steam Labs. I was going to go with the reversal route. That's what I was going to do. But with this right here, I'm like, no, uh-uh. Definitely no Super Chat for me. I'm not cutting that joint on. You know, once I hit 1,000 subscribers and we meet the requirements to get Super Chat, I am not cutting that crap on. I am rolling with Steam Lab in terms of their Super Chat, if you want to call it that, and things of that nature. <clears throat> so yeah that's what's going on with YouTube and how they are basically killing super chat because and this is another reason why people are turning to twitch for live streaming instead of YouTube that's why twitch is better for live streaming than on uh, YouTube but in the Pokemon Go community everybody you well not everybody most people use this YouTube but there's a certain amount of people who are going to twitch to uh, live stream Pokemon Go content. Uh, I think Poke AK does it. He been doing it for a good minute. I think Matty F Baby, he started that as well. So, I think JT Gully, he said he wanted to live stream on Twitch. I'm not sure he said that. Don't quote me on that. But I believe he said that. It's not set on stone if he really did say that or not. But, that's my belief. And let's see. I need to check this. A lot, uh, I, there's a lot of emails I gotta check on my job, but I check those out after the live stream is over. I'm still waiting on that phone call. That phone call not come in yet. What is up? Let's see. I'm gonna click here and say that I am now on the clock. <laughs> so I'm live streaming and I'm on the clock working. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next topic. So let's get off of. Oh, actually, I know what the next topic is. It's my single. So actually. I can play you guys my single right now. Crazy Q, what is up, man? Thank you for showing up to the live stream. Been a hot minute. Oh, you know what? There is one more topic that came up um, yesterday. Oh, Eliza Rachi live stream as well. Is it Pokemon Go stuff? But, um. Oh, wait, man. We got more people in here. Hang on. Let's see who else we got in here. Jimmy Pitt started streaming. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be I have no clue who Jimmy Pitts is but if he's a uh, Pokemon Go content creator that's pretty cool too Partizan FK what is up thank you for showing up to the live stream yep there it is there's the phone that call uh, I don't know how to answer it from here okay here we go so I'm getting that phone call give me a second folks uh, let's see hello I'm fine how you doing Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's the same. Oh, uh, yeah, me too. Okay. All right, bye-bye. All right, so now with that out the way, now I can get up. Let me get the game back up. Bam, right there. All right, so let's see. Apparently, you guys are telling me about um, Pitts, so let's see. He was the first U.S. Oh, he's the first. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Okay. 
The first U.S. level 40 player. All right, that's cool. That's cool. He's in Buffalo, New York. Feel me once. How you know so? so no, I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> I ain't gonna say how you know so much about him. But uh, yeah, let me handle this little bit of business real quick, and then I'm gonna play for you guys my second single, which will be released this Friday. So I will release it on my other YouTube channel this Friday. I will play to you guys my second single. And there's one more topic that I want to, uh, I'm not sure if I should talk about it. It involves a YouTuber who recently quit. If you want to know who it is or you want to hear about it, let me know in the chat and then we can talk about it. If you know who I'm talking about already and still want to talk about it, let me know in the chat. If you don't want to talk about it, you know, then say, no, I don't want to talk about it. Or you don't want me to talk about it. But yeah. A certain YouTuber, and this ain't a my, this is a big time YouTuber. He uh actually quit. He actually quit doing YouTube, or he, he doing or he quit doing YouTube based off of this um this method that he was doing. And yes, it's a he. Uh I got yeah, yeah, Q, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yep. Uh I got 10 shinies on my main, three of my alt, so I got 13 total. Uh what I need to do? I need to okay. It's, that and that. Okay. So let me get this. Let me get this. Oh, <clears throat> <laughs> y'all, you want to hear about it? Okay. So that's one person that said want to hear about it. Okay. Okay. Now you want. Now you want to know what the funny thing about this? You want to know how I know about it? Or not know about? It. You want to know how I found out about it? It was a tweet that was sent out by Mystic Seven. I crap you not. And it wasn't a hateful treat. It wasn't a negative treat. Because at one point in time, they had beef. Like FSU, ATL, and Mr. Seven, they had beef. But Mr. Seven, he sent out a trick saying um, some positive stuff. Like, yeah, you know, sucks that you're gone. And, you know, you was sticking to your beliefs. And I respect you for that. It was like one of those types of treats. That's how I found out. Like, otherwise, I, hope, I would have never known. I would have never known if it wasn't for Mr. Seven and that treat he sent out. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Uh, no, do not change that password. And then over here, if you hear me saying a bunch of mumbo jumbo, don't worry about it. That's me focusing on my job. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, dang. That was the wrong password. Okay, let me try it again. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay. And then, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is this one? Oh, yeah, that's right. So, yeah, like, I'm, I'm like, okay, let me, let, I'm gonna try to add this in a positive way as possible. And I'm hoping for a positive, positive response because, yeah, uh, FSU ATL, he's like, one of the two leading youth content creators who spoofs. And I know a lot of people don't feel, you know, all that good about spoofing, but I'm going to try to, I want it to stay positive. I don't want, I don't want it to be a bad fest. So here's, and so here's my advice to you guys. How do you feel about FSU closing his YouTube channel or stopping? Uh, if you don't have anything nice to say about it, don't say anything at all. That's all I'm saying. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything about it at all. Because this ain't, even though, you know, I'm, I'm not a fun believer in spoofing. But I don't want people to bash each other. You know, I want the community to stay clean as possible. Maybe quick because you think that never going to be banned. Then he was banned for nine seconds. Oh, yeah. And that's, that brings me to another topic that I ran across from Count Jinxula. I think I'm going to save that one for a video. So I'm not going to talk about that here in the live stream. I'm going to save that for a video. But my question for you guys is this. How, what do you feel about FSU ATL? Like, stop with the YouTube videos or stop with the spoofing videos or whatever the case may be. Like, are you sad to see them go? Do you not care? But again, if you got something to say, make sure it's like not bashing the guy or trash talking the guy. So again, either say, you know, say something nice, say something cool, say something decent, or don't say anything at all. And then we can move on to another topic which I don't have on me at the time being. <laughs> but me personally, 
I seen probably about five or six of his videos. And it's not my cup of tea, I'll say that. So it wasn't so it was it's not like I followed a guy like that. But I know I but you know, I'm not naive. I know how big of a YouTuber he was. So that was that's some major news right there. That he's calling in a rap. But yeah, that's how I feel about it. But yeah, what do you guys thought? Do you feel the same way? Like if you don't have anything nice to say, just say you feel the same way that his content was not your cup of tea. And I'll accept that. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> uh let's see. I'm gonna do this real quick. And then what's the other thing I need to do over here? Oh, that. <clears throat> and then we're gonna do this. And then actually, I think I, I'm gonna have some more work come in at 12.30, although that requires me to look in my email. Okay, so that's good. <clears throat> so paste that over here. Uh, oops, I messed up. What was that? That was three? Okay, let me try that again. All right, so I'm done. So let me uh, sign off and then I'll be back with you guys in a second, really. I just got to sign off on these three things and I got to set something else up over here as well. <clears throat> let me see. <clears throat> uh, You don't know who he is, but you think he shouldn't be banned. That's interesting. You haven't seen him. I find that they have banned the pro swoopers and make the game more legit every day and thinks he banned... His fan, his band was fair. Okay. <clears throat> so for those of you who don't know who FSU ATL is, okay, let me explain something to you guys. So within the Pokemon Go community, there's really like there's different categories within the community. Like you got online, you got offline, but you also got legit players and you got spoopers. FSU ATL is one of the two biggest Pokemon Go spoopers in the community. You know, based off his YouTube channel. His YouTube channel was huge. It, you could say it was on the level of Mystic 7, Trainer Tips. That's how big he was. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> and he did a lot of stuff with his content. Like, he, he uh, what's that thing called? I, I always forget this term. Uh, I forgot the term. Clipbait. He did a lot of clipbait, you know, with his content. And he been accused of like um, telling a lot of lies and things of that nature. But uh, <clears throat> the one thing about him is, and even Reversal said this a while back, like he respects FSU ATL because he's consistent with his work, with what he believes in and things of that nature. He's consistent. So, like I never met the guy. I never seen the guy. I seen his content. And again, it's not my cup of tea. So I only seen like five or six of his videos or whatever. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm like pretty much good with this. And then I moved on. Like I didn't bash him or say anything negative about him. <clears throat> oh, wow. That's funny. That uh, football game. But and I believe that was his primary job. Like YouTube was his primary job. So for him to quit doing YouTube, it, it's like it's, it's a bit serious because when a YouTuber quits, I don't care who you are, when a YouTuber quit and it's your primary job, depending on what you do, like it, it's always gonna suck that you have to quit your primary job. So, let me see. Uh, First was Jono, that's now is Showtime Jono and now was, okay. <laughs> Organics. Oh, so oh yeah, that's right. Jono, yeah, one of his accounts did get um permanently banned. I did see that. And you wanna know the crazy thing about Jono? He's actually subscribed to my channel. I was like, wait, what? Why? Why? Like what? It's... <clears throat> and the funny thing about that was when he subscribed to my channel, I knew that he was a YouTuber, but I had no clue how big he was. I had no clue how big he was until I found out like months later. 
I'm like, oh, dang, he's that big too. And he subscribed to my channel. That's crazy. So, I almost done with my work over here. And, all right, we are done. Uh, I'm going to go through my emails later. Let's see. What is this? Okay. So, let me close that. Oh, this came in. Okay. All right, so everything's good over there. All right, so with that out the way, all right, so now it's time. Where my headphones? There they go. All right, so now it is time for me to reveal the second single off my upcoming beat album. So where's my, okay, there it is. All right, so for those of you who don't know, like all the music you've been hearing in my live streams and the majority of the music you hear in my videos are made by me. So yes, I am a music producer. I am a beat maker. Yes, that is me. And I release beat albums from time to time. So right now I am releasing the Kyoto Hour Volume 6, Escaping Dust, which will drop November 30th. So almost a month from now, this album will drop. So the second single is called Kotohiki. And that means beach. So this going to have like a beachy vibe to it. Uh, okay, I know where it is. Okay, let me find it real quick. Actually, it's not in here. Uh, let's see. It would be over here. 554, five, that's the number I'm looking for. <clears throat> and let's see. There it is. All right, so... Hopefully you like it. Again, it will be released worldwide this Friday at midnight. It's just in the time, obviously. On my other YouTube channel, which is Strictly Called True and Funnel. Again, there's no intro. The album will be released on my Bandcamp site, which is trueandfunnel.bandcamp.com. I will have the link to that up. Actually, there it is right here. Uh, once the single is done being played. Oh, okay, they're talking about voting. And that's where you can pick up the album when it drops. And it's only be $2. That's it. Just $2. It's not 5 or 10 anything like that. It will be $2 freaking dollars. Uh, let me read the comments real quick. Let's see. <laughs> Drum roll, please. DJ in front of But that's funny. He is, but he's sub, he's sub organic players. Oh, okay. Well, you're, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Barter. Thank you, man. Yeah, like, I'm into a lot of stuff. Like, the graphics that you see all around here, I did them. Like I did them. I got a, a bachelor's degree in um, graphic design. So all these graphics, like this logo down here, that logo right there. Like even that background picture, you can't see all of it. Like I did all that. So yeah, there's a lot of things I'm really into. <laughs> oh, for real? Cool, man. Thanks. All right. So here's the second single. Again, hopefully you like it. Now, I'm going to talk about, I'll talk about the album later. But let me play this single for you guys real quick. So you enjoy it. I'm about to give you some more of this drink. I'll be right back. So enjoy this single. Let me turn this up all the way as well. And then I'm going to mute myself. And I'll be back in a few seconds. So yeah, enjoy this single. And I'll be right back.
All right, so that's the single. Let me turn that down. So, judge by this, I'm assuming a lot of you guys liked it. Uh, okay, I say why am I? Okay. <clears throat> All right, okay. What am I drinking? Uh, <clears throat> it's that strawberry lemonade. Yeah, I'm about to. Uh, let's cut the beat off, and we're gonna go back to my other playlist real quick. All right, so, yeah, there's a lot of comments that I saw while the beat was playing, while I getting a drink, so I'm going to address all those real quick. All right, so, Melton, I did look that up, so actually I had to uh, correct what I said earlier. It was that fake Mystic 7 account. How did I even see that? I thought, when, yeah, I'm not even following him. I don't know how I saw that. <clears throat> so, I don't know how I saw his tweet, but uh, I don't know. I managed to block him, even though he's following me, too, but I don't know. <clears throat> So yeah, that was the fake Mr. Seven who gave who released that tweet about oh you know it's sad to see them go and things of that nature. So yeah, that was a fake uh, Mystic Seven account, not the real one. So I apologize for that. That's the first thing. And can we play my music? <clears throat> so yeah, that's the first thing. The second thing I want to address was something else that I saw. I think my game froze. Yes, my game froze. So I'm gonna have to reconnect that. Let's see. Let's move like butter. Thanks, man. All right, Dark Man. Thanks for showing up, man. Have a good one. Oh, you love it. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right. So let's see. <clears throat> hey, Maddie, what is up, man? Thanks for showing up to the live stream. Now, secondly, uh, is this one part in the beat near the end I really like? I'm going to have to turn that down. I'm going to try to get to it before Friday when I release that beat. My, Maddie, you just, you just missed my second single. <laughs> you just missed my second single. Uh, now, Partizan, no, he was never, he never spoofed. What he did was, he was um having people give him their accounts. He would play for them for money. That's what he did. He didn't spoof. He never spoofed. So, no. Daniel, what is up? Thank you for showing up to the live stream. What is the easy way to get mythical Pokemon and Shinies? Ooh, shinies? Okay. <clears throat> Daniel. Now, in terms of getting shinies, hey, Sharma, what is up? Thank you for showing up to the live stream. Oh, it's Maddie's birthday? Oh, man, if it's your birthday, man, happy birthday, man. Thank you for spending part of your birthday in here. <laughs> look, look, look. Daniel, I'm on the job. I'm at work right now. So, I'm normally up from midnight to 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's my job. But yeah, when I live stream, I gotta stay enthusiastic. You can never sound like this. Hey guys, it's another live stream. True and funnel here. Will be no, no, no. I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. But uh, Daniel, to your earlier question, you need to hit up dubroad.com and look for what nests are nearby you. And you gotta look up. Like certain Pokemon that have their shiny form in the game already. So, for example, um, the female Nidoran, Magikarps, uh, Chikoritas, Charmanders. Oh, it just Indy. Oh, okay. 
you look up those Pokemon that you really want the shiny for. Shelter, for example, Geodude, uh, Growlithe, Grunt. I'm not sure. Yeah, they could be a, a Grime and S. You look those up on there, you see what is close to you, and you just go there and you grind. You grind until you get a shiny. That's the only way I can, that's the only thing I can recommend in terms of you getting a shiny. Now, in terms of mystical Pokemon, there's only two mystical Pokemon in the game. Um, Mew and Celebi. And you can only get those from doing the special research tags. You can only get one. Not one not one out of those two, but like one Celebi and one Mew. And that's it. You can't get like a crap ton of those. So you got to do the special research for that. That's the only way you can get a mystical Pokemon. Oh, and uh, Deoxys is a mystical Pokemon. So you got to get invited to an EX raid. So in terms of that one, just do a crap ton of raids. Not tier five, not just tier five raids, but it could be tier one, it could be tier two, whatever. Do a bunch of raids, and if you, and I wish I could show you. There's not one near me, but if you look on the top right corner where you go into the gym, it would say EX gym. You want to raid there. You want to be active at that gym, so you can hopefully get an EX raid invite for that gym, and then you can get yourself Deoxys, which is a mythical Pokemon. Now, of course, you got to battle it and catch it, but there you go. That's the only uh, advice I can give you. Uh, the site is thesipro.com. So I'm about to type it in for you right here. Thesipro.com. Uh, Let me check my task real quick. Okay, nothing new came in. I don't see any new emails come in, so that's good. But that's the website you want. Now, it turns out, okay, let me read the site. <clears throat> read the site. Let me read the chat real quick. So yes, apparently yesterday, East Coast time was Manny up baby's birthday, man. Happy birthday again, man. Uh, yeah, we can still celebrate. Yeah, working two jobs simultaneously. Yeah, you could say I'm doing that. Let's see, FK is your birthday too. Happy birthday, FK. Let's see, uh, what we got going? Okay. Yeah, that is my prediction. I think when Mewtwo leaves, which will be this Tuesday, Giratina will show up. On Wednesday, it could be on that too. Oh wow, the Bears were close to tying this game up. Uh, so it could be either Tuesday, or Wednesday. <clears throat> Pre-release. Uh, let's go. What do you mean pre-release? Like <clears throat> some people would get the game before the release date. Like I'm not even jealous at that if that's the case. Uh. That's the he just tweeted just now. Okay. All right, so we got about 29 minutes left in the live stream, and I have yet to see one of these four individuals in here. Your sister's birthday was yesterday, and your cousin's is today. Yeah, happy birthday to your family then. <laughs> Look, my cousin's birthday was October 1st. All right, so I'm about to give you guys another secret. Now, if you saw my last video... When I was in Mount Clemens, I mentioned that I met Melissa in Mount Clemens a few days ago, and I gave her something. I gave Melissa something, because Melissa, she was in Michigan for a week, so she came back to Michigan. So for those of you who don't know who Melissa is, Melissa is Pokemon Master Holly's roommate, one of her roommates. But before that, Melissa was living here in Michigan, so she, she was hanging around with hybrid mongoose and to some degree myself. So she was here in Michigan, but then she moved from Michigan to Vegas. And now she rooming with Jojo, Erica, and Pokemon Master Holly. But for a week, she came back here for a wedding. So the last night before she left, which was Sunday, ironically enough, I met up with her. Actually, it was last Sunday. It was last Sunday. I met up with Melissa to give her something before I went to work. <laughs> before I went to work, I gave her, yes, yeah, Zabowski, yes. Melissa Zabowski, yes, her. And not only is she Holly's roommate, she is also one of the top administrators for the Level 40 Club, like the Level 40 Club. Yeah, that Melissa. So I met up with her, and I gave her something. I gave her something to take back to Vegas. So 
I cannot wait for Holly to get back to Vegas because the something I gave to Melissa is for Holly. I'm not going to reveal what it is yet. I'm not sure if Holly going to show it off in, her, in a video. I'm not sure if Holly going to show it off in a picture. But I'm going I'm to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. Next Sunday, I don't know when Holly going to go back to Vegas, but next Sunday, if there's no mention of what I g gave her, I will show you guys what I got, got her. It's a, it's a birthday gift that I got for Holly. <laughs> Level 40 club height, yeah. <laughs> Drag fueler. <laughs> uh, let me fix this real quick. I wish I wish Lions for Days was still in here because they're showing the Detroit Lion highlight for today, uh, Sunday rather, against the Dolphins. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Man, the first person to make me fully, fully welcome. <clears throat> oh man, are you part of the level 40 club? <clears throat> <clears throat> it's birthday bash with truth time. <laughs> it's birthday bash with truth time. Birthday bash with truth time. Uh oh, I got some new emails. Uh, let me check these emails real quick. Oh, okay. Uh, and they, okay, these are unimportant. All right. Where was I? Oh yeah. It but they pass with true time. But they pass with true time. But they pass with true time. <laughs> I'm fooling. Alright, let me get my game up. Cause my game froze. I have to evolve some Pokemon for you guys. Some Gen 4 Pokemon and some shinies at that. So even though my birthday was in August. Just putting it out there. My birthday was in August. But yeah. You can and actually my boy's birthday was this month as well. All right, there we go. So now we go put presentation mode on. I forgot what day though, which was funny because I was hanging out with him for his birthday that Friday and that Saturday, even though I couldn't stay out too late because again, I had to work. <laughs> so let me minimize all of that. All right, so there's about 24 minutes left in the live stream. And that contest is still going on. I'm waiting for one of those four individuals to show up in here. So we'll see what happens. Let me see. Let me add on to that song. I want to add on to that song. Actually, wasn't that something? Oh, yeah. There was something else I want to show you guys. And that is this. So going back to my beat album. So there's, that's the site right there where it be at. TrueInFunnel.BandCamp.com. I forgot to mention that. Because uh, I was too busy reading chat and replying to chat. So I'm going to post that link in here. He's saying for our birthday, yeah. That birthday time, it's true in front of birthday bash. True in front of birthday bash. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Maddie L, Maddie L, Maddie L, Maddie L, LK's birthday. <laughs> I'm stupid. All right, but yeah, that's the website right there. True in front of that So as you can see, there's like five of these Kyoto Hour albums outside of this one, which is the best hour of Kyoto. That's like a collaborate, not collaboration, like a compilation album featuring the best tracks off of the first three Kyoto Hour albums. That's what that is. And I'm going to do a second one of these after Volume 6 drops. So that will be released next year. But Volume 6 will be released November 30th this year. And the last beat album I came out with was this one, which is Yugo, which stands for Fu uh, Fusion. So this one is like... I took background music from anime, and I made hip hop beats off of them. So, so for example, in here you, you can hear some Dragon Ball Z, you can hear some Sailor Moon, some Gundam Ring from uh, uh, Roni Kenshin. I don't remember everything that I used in here. Oh, uh, Roman Warriors. Yeah, there's a quite a bit in here. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. So. And now, yeah, so yeah, you can pick this one up as well. And this one's actually free. Like, I do got some beats, albums on here that are free. And how you do that, it, even though the Kyoto album would not be free, only $2. But here's how you can get some of these. You would click on buy a digital album, and then you just type in zero. And then you click on download to your computer, which is down here, and then you just follow instructions. You can get some, not all. But some of these beat albums for absolutely free. Now, of course, if you want to pay for some of these, that's on you. Like, if you want to pay more than $2 for my Kyoto Hour albums, that's on you. But some of these beat albums 
are free. Like, for example, the Yugo Beat album is free. Uh, this one, the Dashy 3022 album is free, although there is some parental advisory. That one, if you know who Dashy XP is, then that's like a mixture of some of his lyrics, some of his freestyles with my beats. That's what that is. Uh, what's another free one? That's not free. Uh, ah, the OGs, the original gaming compilation album, that one's free. And that's it. And there's some singles in here as well. But yeah, so Kyoto Album Volume 6 will be available on this website November 30th. All right, so that's enough about that. We got 40, not 40, 20. What this so far? <laughs> we got 21 minutes left. The wrong thing. Before the live stream is over. Uh oh, I got another email. And this is, I do need to re, uh, respond to this one. So, we got 21 minutes left on the live stream. So, what I'm about to do after I take care of this email is I'm going to evolve some of my Gen 4 Pokemon. So, I need to put on another Lucky Egg. I should have done this after uh, I got my first best friend today. I don't know why I didn't do that, but whatever. And then let me clear off some of these emails. There we go. All right. So, that out the way. Uh, let me close that. Let me open up chat. <clears throat> yes, the contest is still on. How can I type up my location on the Sorry, Oh, um, <laughs> email address. Uh, all Okay, no problem, no problem. Actually, one of these days, I'm going to have to get on the Sipro myself. So let's switch back over here. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you. Let's go to, let's see. The Sip road.com they also have an app you could download the app on your phone as well they also have an app all right so let's see oh this is old they need to update that so you're gonna go to the simple dot com then you go click on nest atlas and obviously I gotta let it load up hmm <clears throat> So the next migration is next week. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna click on remember this decision and let it. So it should work for me. If it don't work for you, okay. Okay, see, I don't want to show y'all that, but um, it should work for me. But if it don't work for you, then I don't know. It may be something wrong with your collection con uh, connection. So in that case, I would probably say zoom out. All the way out till and then you know till you get to this point and you go to I don't know if you're in the US or you're in another country. So if you're in another country, you may have to zoom out some more. But um if you can, I'm not sure if you can zoom out. Oh yeah, you can, it's just laggy. But let me get the chat up so I can see. Does anybody say anything? Click on the wrong thing. So yeah, you, you zoom out right, like a crap ton. And actually, you know what would make this easier? Hang on. Make sure like all of this is uh, checked off. Like check all this off. Like you go into the species and you check all of this off. Like there's something checked. Okay, let me see. Let me click this and then unclick this. So I probably recommend you do that before. You, why is this still checked? I probably recommend you make sure everything is unchecked before you zoom out. Otherwise, you're going to be like, you're going to be forever. You're going to be stuck on this screen forever. So I'm going to have to refresh. And then you just like drag until you find your neck of the woods and then you can um, zoom back in. And actually, I'm going to, yeah, skip that beat right there. So yeah, I think I'm going to just refresh. But yeah, that's, yeah, you know what? I'm going to cut it off. Like, yeah, see, it works for JVB. Yeah, so in that case, you may just have to zoom out. But before you do that, make sure that all the species are unchecked. Make sure they are all unchecked first. And then you're going to zoom out. And then find your area, and then you zoom in. So at some point this week, I'm going to look for, like, a shelter nest, a geodude nest, a growler nest. Although there's two spots that I really want to hit up this week for up upcoming videos. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And actually, you know what? 
There is one more topic. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this topic out the way. I don't feel like making a video about it. Cause I don't because then I had to do all these uh fat searching and things of that nature. And let's get over here actually. <laughs> so Count Jinxula, which is his YouTube name. Now he's another YouTuber. Uh, I believe he's based in yeah, he is based in Chicago. Some of you guys may know that. I think he's in Chicago. He released a video, an interesting video. Now, how many of you guys know this, that if you live or you frequently visit this area, like, if you know this, I'm not sure if it's happened in your area. I'm not, I don't think it happened in my area yet, but some of these gyms are disappearing. They're disappearing. So I'm talking about gyms at the Sprint stores. They are disappearing. So you're probably wondering, why, why is that? What's going on here? Sprint cut their ties with Niantic. According to Count Jinxula, that deal is done. And I actually received the email because Sprint had a, um, like a Pokemon Go trainers program where you get a certain amount of points they can use towards Pokemon Go stuff and things of that nature. They are ending that next month. So Sprint are cutting ties with Niantic. And the belief is this, because of spoofing, ironically enough, because of spoofing. So the, 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 the objective here is in terms of why these sprint stores are, you know, they are poker gyms, is for people to go to these gyms, and while they're there, they would go into the sprint store and buy stuff. Simple. But when you spoof to these gyms, you're not doing that. You're not going into the Sprint store and buying stuff because you're spoofing. You're chilling from another location while you make your character go to the Sprint store, but you're not physically there to go into the Sprint store and buy stuff. So when Sprint realized that, they were like, that's the theory. That's just a theory. That's a theory that Jen, um, that Jensila came up with. That's a theory that I'm rolling with at the time being. I don't know the official reason why Sprint are cutting ties with Niantic. Yeah, see, exactly. Yep. So Sprint is cutting ties with Niantic. And that's probably why Niantic are like going crazy with these bands. Because they want more sponsors, but people will not sponsor with them if people are spoofing. So they're trying to get rid of spoofers and che cheating of all, of all types. And actually, innocent, innocent people, rather, are getting hit with bands. So like Mixing got hit with a one day band. Dark Matter Whoop got hit with a one, one day band. And they're clean, they don't cheat. But they got hit with a one-day ban. So, if you're using, like, third-party apps to check your IVs, like uh, Kalki and Pokegenie, I recommend you chill for the time being. Let me see. They gave Niantic money based on how much activity. Yeah, exactly. They gave Niantic money based on how much activity happened at the stop. Yep. Uh, Count Jinxler did say that as well. So, <clears throat> yep. So spoofers, yep, they yeah, spoofers messed up those numbers, yep. So they was like, man, we ain't gonna support this crap. <laughs> so <laughs> But yep, that's what's going on in terms of your sprint stores no longer being EX ray or gyms pip. So I there's this one sprint store in Dearborn that we all go to in my area, in Dearborn. So I need to one of these days go over there and see what's up with that store. <laughs> Like, if it's still a, a EX Ray there. I'm not EX Ray. If, if it's a gym there to begin with. Now, there's a Sprint store really close to my house. And for the longest, it just been a Pokestop. It was never, I think, yeah, it was never a gym. It was always a Pokestop. Oh, yeah, that's right. Somebody knocked my Onyx out of the gym. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to put on a Lucky Egg. And we're about to get some, uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And actually, I need to put on... Uh, start piece. Any more emails? Any more tasks? Nope, I'm good. For another 12 minutes. Alright, so I'm going to evolve these Pokemon for you guys real quick. In the meantime, if you have any questions, if you have any comments for your boy, feel free to ask them now because I will be ending the live stream in about 12 minutes. And then after that, Maddie F. Baby probably be live streaming again. So yeah, you can go raid his channel afterward. <laughs> uh, let's see. And you know what? Speaking of live streamers, 
Pokego. I was in Pokego's one of her latest live streams, and I donated by PayPal, not Super Chat. And I and I don't want to talk about that whole Super Chat fiasco again. And she basically shouted me out to the heavens, telling me to you know check out my channel, and by you know I got good stuff like that. And she wanted to collab with me. Yeah, I went like again. If Maddie do live stream after me, I recommend you check it out, man. More likely, I would jump in there. I won't be active because again, I'm at work. But <laughs> I'm be in there nevertheless. But uh, and you know, I met Maddie in person, man. Really cool dude, man. Really cool dude, man. Be careful, he he will hug you. So I <laughs> just play. Love you, Matt. Love you, Maddie, man. Oh what? No more streams? What? What's going on? Uh, what I want, I want. Oh, numbers. I want numbers. Okay. So we're going to scroll all the way down to here. All right. So we're going to start off with the king. <laughs> the international boy. The international inferno. Yes. That will. There's no E in true. But th that will be coming back next year. Because even though there's not really any official. I haven't heard anything for a good minute. But the plan is to go to Jamaica. And I am down. We're going to Jamaica if we get the right spot. Yes, <laughs> Chicago. Oh my gosh, Chicago. And matter of fact, I'm not sure if JT Valor was in here. Oh my gosh, that Sunday evening night. That was one of the best things about that Chicago trip. Oh my gosh. So we about to evolve, but dude. Yes, we are evolving the king. I haven't been streaming. Yeah, I noticed that too. Yeah. Now I noticed that, but you know I was figuring, okay, you made stream again because you were streaming earlier. I noticed that actually uh, Rise of Valor took your spot. He streams all the time now. <laughs> like every night I see him streaming. <laughs> so we just evolved. Badoof. And you got to say it like that too. Badoof to Bibberell. And I think yeah, I said that correctly as well. All right, so we're going to get out of here. And we're going to evolve my favorite Gen 1 starter. I mean not Gen 1. Gen 4 starter, which is Chimchar. And we're going to roll with the 93%er, not the Lucky. Actually, you know what? No. Let's roll with the Lucky. Okay, which one should I evolve? Should I evolve the 87% Lucky Chimchar? The 91% Chimchar with the high CP? Or the 93% Chimchar? So that's my question for you guys. Which one of these three Chimchars should I evolve? It, meanwhile, I'm going to evolve this Touch Rig all the way up. Yeah, that's that's King Badoo. That's the King right there. But let me tell you guys about Chicago. Go fest. Um after Sunday's Go Fest, and, and oh my gosh. And if you seen that video of my part two Go Fest video, oh my gosh, Pokemon Master Holly, oh my gosh. If you seen her video, oh my god, definitely, oh my gosh. But anywho, after Go Fest was over, it was me. It was Hybrid Mongoose. It was Kyler. It was Pokétron. It was Infamous Big Rob. It was JT Valor. And it was uh, Fimblogs. All of us walked to Five Guys. And we ate lunch and we chilled. We talked. We gave each other advice and stuff like that. It was dope. And then everybody went their separate ways. With the exception of me, JT Valor, Pokétron, and Fimblogs. We went to the pier in Chicago, and we was fooling. Um, I think Pokétron, he was shooting a video. He never released his GoFest video yet. I'm waiting on that. Um, and I was live streaming. I caught my shiny Aerodactyl. We was out. We was crazy. And JT Valor, being the shiny king that he is, he was catching shinies like crazy. Pokétron was catching shinies. I caught a shiny. And then right when they pulled the plug on all these crazy Pokémon spawns, Finn Bloss caught his shiny. We was walking all around downtown Chicago. It was crazy. What is up, nephew, man? Thank you for popping back up into the live stream. But, oh, y'all saying, okay, I see Lucky. I see Lucky again. Okay. Uh, let me get this pimp look. I'm going to do the 89% pimp look. But, yeah, man, we were walking around Chicago, like, from the pier, and we made our way to the city. And it was, it was so much fun, dude. And, again, people are calling us the Poke Crew. <laughs> Or maybe I'm calling us the Poké Crew. I don't know. Gang or gang. Gang or gang gang. <laughs> like, when I meet uh, Poké Girl again, I'm going to be like, gang, gang or gang gang. <laughs> you got to say it like that. Gang or gang gang. 
Gang, 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 gang. <laughs> All right, but uh, Chicago was fun. Oh, man, I can't wait for GoFest next year. I hope it's in New York, but I'll be down if it's in Chicago again because it's a shorter trip. You know, I could... That one, I guess I'll drive to Chicago again. Oh, he did? Okay, I'll look for that. All right, we got seven minutes left in the live stream. I need to evolve all these Pokemon before then. And let's see. Nothing new popped up over there. But yeah, man, Chicago was so much fun. Another thing about Chicago, about GoFest, was the... Uh, the Sith World Party. Now, I, I told this story. I did like the full story video, but it was like an hour long. And I told you guys what happened. From uh, me arriving. <laughs> from me arriving to Chicago to me leaving Chicago. So I told everybody what happened. But in case you didn't see that video or it was too long for you. Uh, what do I want to do next? Oh, the Starly. And then I'm going to do Kakarot next. Uh, Evolving rather. Um, but that's it. Let me, let me tell you something what happened with that Sith World after party. So <clears throat> Lady Brittany, who is the mother of all YouTubers. So she's my mom. She's Maddie's a baby's mom. She's JT Valor's mom. She's Holly's mom. She's Reversal's mom. If you're a content creator within the Pokemon Go community, Lady Brittany is your mom. I don't care what you say. She is your mom. Deal with it. So <laughs> anywho. She was there. She was working for the, I guess she was working for the Sith Road and things of that nature. And I showed her to the party. And they, they ran out of tickets. Right? They ran out of tickets. Or to give a Ray Rapper. And she hooked me up with a ticket. <clears throat> so I got in. And like I took three steps in. Three steps into this other uh, party. I was hit up. Like, oh my gosh, true inferno. Let me get your friend code. Let me uh not Franco, because they wasn't out yet. Uh, let me get your um handshake. That's what it is. I need to do that as well for uh, community day today as well. Let me get your handshake. Like I was hit up. Oh, okay. Oh, that's part two. Okay. I'll check that out. But I gotta check out part one first. Uh <clears throat> look, I'll look for it on my TV. Since I got this bad boy right here. But yeah, like. And I was stuck, like, for 10 minutes, talking to people, sharing out, giving out handshakes through the Sifro app, and things that nature. It was crazy. And then I made my way in. I saw Pokétron again, and I met Sinbad for the first time. Sinbad's a really cool dude. I was in his video. <clears throat> and obviously, he was in my um, GoFest video. This was Saturday night, obviously. I met uh, I met so many people. Uh, what's his name? Tom, Tom Train was in there. I see him earlier that day, but I saw him again in there. I met uh, Poke, Pope Dave. That was a, and we had like a little bit of an inspirational talk, man. Cause at that point, he, like he messed up his ankles, but yeah, he still showed up. And he was like, no excuses. So yeah, that one got me right here a little bit. That, I will admit, that one got me right here a little bit. All right, let's evolve this Baneri. And obviously, Hyper Mongoose was in there along with the homeboy Master Chi. Uh, I met Reverso again. I met um, Mystic Seven again, Trainer Tips again. I met Zoe Two Dots for the first time there. Uh, Taddy Montoya, what is up, man? Thanks for showing us the live stream. Oh yeah, man, Pokemon Pokétron, man. Yeah, man, he's really cool, man. Uh, who else I met in there? Prodigy's Nation in there. Uh, only one link. That's my bro, man. He was in that joint. Um, JT Gully, I saw him earlier that day. I hang out with him in the squad. Ian Osoro, what is up? Thank you for showing up to the live stream. Uh, thank you for the hearts emojis. <laughs> All right, so a number of you guys were saying, yes, Pokétron is awesome. So a number of you guys were saying the Lucky. So let's do the Lucky. We're going to evolve the Lucky. <clears throat> let's go. All right, so I forgot. Oh, yeah, I met Kyla for the first time in there. Uh, <laughs> nephew, what is that? Like, what is that? Uh, Who else? I think Pierre was there, uh, so I met him. Well, I saw him earlier that day. I, was, I talked to him for a little bit, and my music stopped. Why my music stop? Oh, oh, yeah, I know who that is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that's funny. Yeah, why my music stop? That's weird as heck. Okay, my window media play acting dumb. But um, check my, um, okay, nothing over there. 
And we're going to evolve this one more time. And then there's like two shinies that I need to evolve. And now I'm going to call it a wrap. Like there was a, yeah, Sparky Joy, she was in there. Met her for the first time. Uh, Kyler, met him for the first time there. Kyler's a really cool dude too. Really cool dude. And then I told you what happened when I saw a reversal, right? Because here's what happened. When Trainer Tiff showed up, everybody was around this dude. Like there's a bunch of Pokemon Go trainers off to the side, content creators on the side. Uh, I met um, Omnisec. So once I got to this back room, I got hit up again for a handshake. Omnisec came up, man. He was like, yo, I really enjoy your Instagram. It's hilarious. Obviously, Endo will agree with that. But anywho. Um, so I got hit up for like 10 minutes with handshakes in there. But Trainer Tips was over here. And a lot of people were trying to meet this guy. Everybody else. We talking everybody else. We talking Project Nation. Zoe Two Dots. Reversal. Hybrid Mongoose. It, just about every other content creator was over here. And not a lot of people was over there. So... I stood there next to Reverso. He got done taking a picture with his family rapper. And then and they had this big old flash on. So he was blinded for a little bit. I'm like, yo, how many fingers are holding up? And here's his here's who he actually when he saw me. True. <laughs> it was crazy. That was Reverso when he first saw me, though. <laughs> it was crazy, man. But yeah, man, that night was hype. And then um throughout the uh, majority of that time, we went to the arcade spot. It was me, Poketron, Sinbad, another one of his boys, and somebody else. I don't remember who it was. It, it could have been JT Valor. I also saw Ralph in there and, um, oh, Panda Man. Panda Man was there. I saw so many people in there, man. It was crazy. We were hanging out for a long time, just playing games and stuff like that. And then Mystic Seven showed up with his crew, so I was hanging out with his crew a little bit. And then we got, I got back to the other side, and it was this round table, even though it was one o'clock, I know that. It's this round table. <clears throat> God, they trainer tips left early. Like, he wasn't feeling good. Holly never showed up because she was tired. DS1 never showed up. It was this round table. So it was uh, Ronnie Pickering. What is up? Thank you for showing up to the live stream, but no spoofing in here, I'm afraid. So at this round table, it was Reverso, it was Sparky Joy. It was Zoe Two Dots. It was Kyler. It was Dark Matter Wolf. Although he left out, he went somewhere and he left his girl Rose and some other chick there near the table. It was somebody else from the Sip Row. It was Lady Brittany, but then she left. Mr. Seven was over there, so I talked to him for a little bit. Hybrid Mongoose and Chi was standing over there, and then they left. Oh, yeah, J. Kim. I saw him. I think he was at this table as well. So it was like a big old gathering. Oh, yeah, JT Valor was over there, too. It was a big old gathering of content creators, and I was a part of that table. It was so dope, man. And then, of course, there was that picture that we took at the end of the party. And, yeah, Pierre was there, too. So it was like a who's who, just about the who's who, of content creators at this table, and I was a part of that, man. That's that's a good moment for me right there. Hey, Mystic Trainer Scott, what is up, man? Thanks for showing up to the live stream. Although I'm about to end it. 2% battery life, so don't worry about that. I'm about to end it. <laughs> what the? <laughs> fresh. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, Fresh. No. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Fresh. This dude, man. <laughs> Endo, man. Why you bring all these people here? Why you bringing the mob squad in here? <laughs> yes, the mongoose. Yes. All right. I'm about to evolve two shinies, and then I'm going to call it a wrap. Oh, for real, 25 people? That's what's up. The most people that was watching me doing the live stream was 50. I, I crap you not. I think it was like 50. And I had to go up to the chat and be like, yo, I need some moderators in here. I need help. Because there was no moderators in, in the chat at that time. Oh, man. But, yeah, GoFest was so much fun, man. Like, like th this was one of my best summers ever. I went to Indianapolis. I met Holly and DX1 for the first time. Met Lady Brittany. And so many people down there, man. It was so cool. They was, oh man, they they like they treated me like a celebrity down there. I will never forget them for that. Andy is really cool. Uh, went to Go Fest, and then my boys. We went back to Chicago two weeks later. We were supposed to go to Vegas, but we went back to Chicago. And I'm like, well, well. but it was still cool. And then of course my Bahamas trip. That was that was a very good summer for your boy. That's probably the best summer I ever had. This past summer. That was probably the best summer I ever had. Like, I crap you not. And the majority of it was because of GoFest. The majority of it was because of GoFest. 
the Bahamas trip is up there. That any trip is up there as well. Like, and no, no disrespect to my boys, but like, and I had a good time going back to Chicago, but and going with them. But those other three trips, man. Oh wow. Dang, did you even take part? You only got fifty five candies. Like, did you really take part in that? All right, let me see. There's another shiny that I need to evolve. And there it is right here. This one. So we're going to evolve this 98% Pinko that is shiny. Since I got two of these now. Mm. And then after that, I'm going to call it a wrap for the live stream. Because I got to get to work. I got to get to work now. I got more tasks to do, more emails. Surprisingly, it didn't come in yet, but... Look at this thing, man. But again, I got work to do. So, that would be... Oh, yeah, you know what? No, there's one more shiny I need to evolve. Uh, which one the highest? This one. <clears throat> I want uh, a Matang, a shiny Matang. Probably two of those. So, let me see. How far can I get up in the chat? Uh, is that the beginning? Yes, it is. So, I'd like to shout out everybody who shout out to the live stream. So, we got 816 SNS, Rock Lobster, Reg, Feel Me Ones, Dark Tyler, Straw Hat Chris, the shiny collector JVB. Let's see. Lions for Days. Gio Apaseo, who only spoke in Spanish. My nephew Endo, bringing in the mob squad in here. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, I said feel me. Did I say feel me one? Yeah, I did say feel me once already. Okay, let's see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, Gikel Gomez Gullian. Thank you for showing up to the live stream. Uh, let's see. Melton, thank you for showing up to the live stream. JT Valor, thank you for showing up to the live stream. Barter Plays, man. Thank you for showing up and subscribing, man. Uh, Basude Grade, hopefully you get more shinies, and hopefully you get invited to EX Raids so you can get more Mystic Pokemon in the form of Deoxys. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Fabrizio Mendoza, thank you for showing up to the live stream. Okay, we got it. Okay. Should I borrow one more? How many do I have left? Five? Yeah, we're going to borrow one more. <clears throat> All right, moving on. Let's see what I left off at. Okay. Uh, okay, I got him. Uh, let's see. Luis Hernandez, thank you for showing up to the live stream. Uh, let's see. Crazy Q, thank you for showing up to the live stream. Partisan FK, thank you for showing up to the live stream as well. Uh, let's see. And I, again, doing that whole um, topic, I like to thank everybody for keeping it clean. You know, no bashing, things of that nature. So I like to thank you guys for that. Maddie F. Baby. Thank you for showing us to the live stream and happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, FK. Hopefully, y'all both had good birthdays. Daniel, Daniel, I ain't gonna butcher your last name. I ain't gonna try. Thank you for showing up to the live stream. Sharma, thank you for showing up to the live stream as well. Again, I'm not butchering your last name. I'm not gonna try as well. <laughs> Let's see, who else popped up in here? Aside from the obvious two. I'll get to you guys in a second. Uh, Let me see. Anybody else Prior to that, uh, let's see, <clears throat> let's see, well, no, yeah, oh, no, no, Taddy Montoya, thank you for showing up to the live stream as well, Ian Osorio, man, what is up, man, thank you for showing up to the live stream, and Fresh as Rice, thank you for showing up to the live stream as well, he <laughs> said, bye, bro, bro, I'm gonna get on that Call of Duty this week, man, while I'm on the, while I'm on the job, because you know, I got my P4 down here, so, I can get it popping. All right, so I'm going to call it a wrap for the live stream. I got to be... Oh, there's an Eevee. Is it shiny? Let's see if it's shiny. Uh, and it is not shiny. Boo. All right, so I'm going to call it a wrap. Next Sunday's live stream will not be this late. I don't think... No, it won't be this late. It won't be this late. It'll probably be in the evening time. So I'd like to thank everybody for showing up to the live stream. Um, And with that... <laughs> Oh, yeah, that video is hilarious, yeah. Oh, man, that's funny. So, with that said, y'all know who this is. First of all, do I have music playing? No, it's not playing. I need music to play before I can sign off. Where are my headphones? My headphones just went up and disappeared. Oh, there they go. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, my, my Windows Media Play is acting stupid. So, I'm going to uh, still sign off. And I'm going to just close down Windows and open it back up. But... With that said, y'all know who this is. This is for the new JKSB, a.k.a. new Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah.